I lived here, I loved here, I found friends here, I found mentors. This place is more home to me than any other place on the face of the earth. One Body, Many Parts is not purely about individual persons, it's also about the enterprise. And these many parts fit together and the Kingdom of God is a great, is a great big tree. We're trying to be a school that is as big, big as the Kingdom as we can get. Jesuit education is always about men for others. Most recently at SLU we talked about career personalis, which means you care for the whole person. You care for how they live and what they learn and how they affect you. It's not just you just care for them, but when you care for them, you care for the community as a whole. We have kids that come from, you know, some pretty um, difficult and different situations. And I've seen a lot of kids really lean on their faith to help them through those situations. Teachers have a big responsibility in bringing out the potential in students. They're able to see the good in, in each person despite the way that they may fail. Teachers try to try to see God in all students and try to unlock the potential that all students possess. I tell my freshmen there's a conspiracy of goodness at St. Louis U High. There are so many people who want them to do well. And I think what we're doing, what we're trying to do is help young men grow into men for others. Freshman year, the running of the Bills was was really, I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but I guess just, just a brotherhood that I felt with, with my fellow classmates. I didn't know most of the guys in my class at that point, but it, it felt like we'd known each other for years before. Oh, that was a great moment for me. The spirit infuses this place in a way that encourages uh, openness, love, uh, the exchange of hearts back and forth. I find it, you know, really in the smallest thing. I find it in a fist bump in the hallway, a talk with a teacher, straightening up a tie on a freshman on a formal day. It's just the little things that really make all the difference in Man for Others. It's what we're trying to do. I mean, we're really trying to teach the whole person. We want them to certainly get a fine education, but we also want them to respect other people, help other people, and also get to know themselves really well. And what that means is that, you know, every single person you encounter, you treat as if, you know, that person is Jesus um, right in front of you. Uh, if not the top thing on my list, uh, pretty much near it would be working with Brendan Underwood. It was one of the first times that a student had really just taught me. When he was uh, speaking at the Ignatian Family Teach-In in Washington, D.C., um, in front of 1,600 people, I, I don't think I could have been prouder. Still has taught me the best ways to advocate for others and to use my faith as the engine to helping others. SLU does a great job of instilling the value of being a man for others in each and every one of us, but um, the real uh, reflection of that value is the fact that generous donors like you guys show your generosity in being, being men and women for others through, through donating for causes like mine. I get to broadcast soccer games on the SLU Sports Network. I get to manage the basketball team. I get to be on student council. Without you all, with your kind hearts, I wouldn't be here advocating for so many other people who don't have the chance or the ability to advocate for themselves. You truly are making a difference and you truly are encouraging men for others for life. Thank you. It's the closest thing that I've ever experienced to the kingdom of God on earth. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good.